So here's a video on the troopers. We start to the left here. We have Imperial Stormtrooper, ADAT driver, Imperial Stormtrooper Hoth battle gear, TIE fighter pilot, biker scout, Imperial gunner, and then Luke and Stormtrooper disguise. So let's come down here. So right here, we'll start with Stormtrooper. And this particular one is from the Smile Factory. I have these arranged according to what factory they were made in. So the Smile Factory, this particular one, now Smile did have a COO too, but this one is Smile, no COO. So it's got copyright GMFGI and the date. And that's it. So no country of origin mark. That's Smile with no country of origin. They did make one that said Hong Kong as well. And then we're going to bring you over to the two Unitoy ones. And just looking here, you can see a little bit different uh, size on the mouthpieces. This one on the left has a little bit wider mouthpiece than this one. And, you know, you'll, you'll notice different paint applications on these. Uh, a lot of them have different mouthpieces. With the, um, the Unitoy... Get a look there. So he does have a country of origin stamp. And with Unitoy, the, the Hong Kong uh, is spaced closer together. We'll see on the Cater Factory ones, the Hong Kong is pretty far apart. Again, VariantVillain.com is a really good source. If you want to see what variants you have on the country of origin stamps. So these are Unitoy. And when we put the smile, no COO, you can see the differences in the mouthpieces there. The smile has a pretty narrow mouthpiece. Um, this guy is a little bit wider and his is even wider. So a lot of different variants in Stormtrooper. He's a real popular figure for a lot of the collectors to focus on. Uh, let's slide you over and look at some Cater figures. So Cater, look at their mouthpieces. They have a little bit more of a almost like an Art Deco design, um, kind of a triangle, you can see on his mouthpiece there, compared to, again, that one's straight up and down. So here, that's the Smile No COO. And let me take you off the stand for a second here. I do this and I end up dropping the phone. But look at the caters have that um, kind of an Art Deco shape, uh, not quite a triangle, but it looks like a like a skyscraper shape for a mouthpiece, whereas Smile is straight up and down, and like we said, Unitoy is kind of wide. So different factories just made them differently. Let's get Smile, no CO out of the way. Okay, so we have one, two, three, four caters, and actually... This one, I believe, is Cater China. So this is made, the Cater factory bought a, a factory in China. Oops. And probably for cost cutting purposes. And what they would have done is in the mold, they carved out, they dug out the part that said Hong Kong and wrote China in there so that when they injected plastic in there, it would have left that raised bar. You can see it's it's kind of raised on them. So made by the Cater Company in their factory in China. Whereas these say Hong Kong. And you can see the Hong Kong has a big space in the middle. That's how you know you have a Cater factory. So Cater went with more of a kind of a little bit of a triangular look to the mouthpiece. And that... Uh, the China one, I think, was a little bit later in the run. This is my favorite variant. This is Lily Leedy from Mexico. And this particular one has the widest mouth and appears to have a little bit harder plastic, too. Um, the uh, Smile No COO seemed to have a harder plastic, too, than the others. But he's got the widest mouth out of all of them. I believe that's a Lily Leedy gun as well. And let me show you the COO. No COO, just the uh, 
just the uh, copyright and the uh, GMFGI, and then the 1977. GMFGI was General Mills Fund Group Incorporated. Um, only the figures released on Star Wars cards, the original figures, had that GMFGI. Starting with Boba Fett, they cut that out. Boba Fett says uh, CPG. He's the only one that says CPG. And after that, they just said LFL for Lucasfilm Limited. Um, just uh, technical stuff they went through. But that's my favorite of the of my Stormtroopers is uh, um, that big mouth uh, Lily, Lily Leedy from Mexico, made in Mexico for the Mexican market. Um, PVP from Spain made the Stormtrooper. Pac from Spain, which was PVP's earlier figures, made one. Uh, Pac would have imported the parts from the Kenner factories in China and just assembled and painted them there. I don't have a PVP or, or Pac on the Chewbacca. I have some coming up ahead here, though. But different paint on the face, on these, the helmets, everything, different country of origin. So again, when you're a collector and you're a nerd like I am, that's what you look for. Now, this is my favorite of the troopers. Right there, you see I have four of them. And these are the ADAT drivers. And their country of origin stamps are so similar that uh, I decided to just not not worry about that and focus more on the different colors of the emblems. And even that's kind of hard to tell what factory they're from, but there's his, the one on each leg, and all of them look very similar. Every factory, uh, I, I believe Smile, Cater, and Unitoy all made these, but they uh, that one is a little bit harder to see. But they're very similar, so, but you can look at the emblems first and see the different colors on the emblems on the helmet there. Totally different from each other. That one's yellow. That, I don't know if that one's degraded or not, uh, but it may have supposed to have been orange. And then look at their their uh, their sunglasses there, the, uh, the eyepieces. This guy in particular is super cool. He's got uh, the really dark, heavily painted uh, visor compared to this guy with really small eyes. That one's really big eyes. Mouthpieces are a little bit different too. And even on the back, so look at the difference in the, the red colors on the back here and here. A little bit different shades of red. Let's see. This has more of an orange tint to it. So, a lot of cool variants. You can see the back of the helmets have different colors as well. That's ADAT driver. Uh, their rear ends are worn on most of these because they were made to go into a ship like all the troopers were or most of the troopers were he was you know he went into the ad at but uh that's probably my favorite trooper just because i love the the colors on these guys and the different visor uh paint the different emblem paint this guy like i said he's he's my favorite one he's got the coolest looking visor those really dark eyes so that's at at driver let's move on another really cool one this is um hoff battle gear stormtrooper and here we have i wrote these down so i remember them all um the first one is smile second one is smile the third one is unitoy and the fourth one is pvp so let me show you these. so smile factory this one's got the skirt on him still and i'm trying to think that that might even be the one one of these i think maybe it's this is the one from my childhood it's still complete right here let's just look at the coo see how it's down there on the boot okay so that's indicative of a smile factory whereas 
put you on the stand here for a second. Again, that's on the boot, so that smile. And this one. Is up here on the back of the, the pants and that one is the unitoy um, I don't have a cater one of these days I'll have to get a cater have to take a drive out to Crown Point toys in Indiana and see if they have a cater one this is super cool this is definitely my favorite one this is PVP made in Spain for the Spanish market and what they did was this was injected in Spain, but they took, um, in this case, a unitoy mold. And if you can get a look at that, at how choppy that is. There you go. See those two big scars right there? So the mold, they would have had, they would have covered that mold. And when, the, of course, when the injection when they injected the plastic in, um, it would have left those indentations. And, and you can see uh, there's so many different scars for this figure because the little uh, plastic or whatever, they would cover the mold, the Hong Kong with the mold, it would break off and then they would do it again. So you can find for every one of these PVPs, you can almost find a different scar. That one's got two different scars. Some of them go all the way across and make one scar, but that's one of my favorite things about this figure. So it feels like a harder plastic than the Kenner ones. That's a PVP gun. And as far as differences in the visors, nothing super noticeable except some of them, this one for instance, you can see it's one visor, the black paint goes across the middle where the other ones, the black paint does not. So the eyes are divided into two spots on these, and here the eyes are one, the way it's painted. So some cool variants with him, but again, his little scar there, that's my favorite thing about the, the PVP Snow Trooper Hawk Battle Gear. So let's move on. Get that in focus. When I was a kid, he was my favorite, him and Biker Scout both. That's the TIE Fighter pilot. Um, ADAT driver, Hoth Battle Gear, Stormtrooper, TIE Fighter pilot, they all premiered on Empire Strikes Back cards. And here we have left to right um, a Smile Factory, a Unitoy, a Cater China, and a Lil Lily Leedy. So here's Smile Factory. And they're very similar. Just the spacing of the Made in Hong Kong part. Okay, that smile. Here's Unitoy. Um, you really got to strain your eyes, but the uh, the spacing of the Made in Hong Kong is a little bit different between Smile and Unitoy. This one was made, another one, Cater Factory in their China factory. Cater Company in their China factory. They just sent their Cater mold to China. There's that raised bar again. And as I said before, with uh, Stormtrooper, that raised bar was caused by them gouging out the Hong Kong. And when the mold, when the plastic was injected in there, it would have created the raised bar. Whereas what we talked about with this guy, since his it looks gouged out in the figure, that means they covered the mold. So the mold was actually raised, which uh, when the plastic was injected, created the indentation on him so that's your cater china this is a really cool one this is lily Leedy from mexico and as you can see the made in has been scarred out and that's indicative of lily Leedy. probably a short pour down or a short shot down here um maybe not though but barely any markings at all you can see the maiden and that was about it but so lily leedy uh they 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 never either they altered the molds or they made their own molds but none of them said made in mexico the card backs did and the baggies did but uh 
they didn't need to put Made in Mexico on the figures, but I'm a huge Lily Leedy fan. I have a lot of their figures, and that's their TIE Fighter pilot. As far as differences, there's not a lot of paint on this guy. You can see the, the helmet emblems on him are still intact. A little bit rubbed off on some of the other ones. But uh, the Leedy has maybe a little bit different uh, shade of red on the chest, but not a lot of paint on this figure. But let's move on. Biker Scout. He was another one of my favorites when I was a kid. I still like him. I only have these three. Uh, this is the one from my childhood. And you can see it's Taiwan, which was Universal Manufacturers. And the second one um, is, this is made in Hong Kong. And I forgot to write down what, what factory that one was. And the third one, I think it's a cater actually. The third one is cool. That's a Lily Leedy, again, made in Mexico for the Mexican market. They also released these on Kenner card backs for the American market, and the card said made in Mexico. Uh, the a sure tell way to figure out a Lily Leedy is the mouthpiece. You can see the Kenner ones, the mouthpiece goes all the way down, right? And then look at Lily Leedy, it stops short, and you have white plastic down here. So Lily Leedy has that short mouth. And I'll show you what the uh, country of origin, or the lack of one. So there's no country of origin, you just get the LFL 83. But you don't even need to look at that for Lily Leedy. All you gotta do is look at that mouthpiece and you know what you got. So Biker Scott was very cool. He, he premiered on the Return of the, of the Jedi cards. He was the only trooper to uh, premiere on the Return of the Jedi cards. And then we have a couple Power of the Force figures. These were all made in Kenner, or I'm um, in the Cater factory. And not big differences here. I'll show you what a COO looks like. There you go. So not, uh, not a whole lot of variance with these last 17 figures you know they i'm pretty sure they only made one batch of these shipped them out and then didn't make much more but he goes for a premium especially with that gun the last 17 uh they they're all very expensive they like i said they didn't make many they only made one run and and pretty much closed down uh production so uh they didn't make as many of them and but he's a super cool looking figure. And then we have Luke in Stormtrooper Disguise. And one variant that jumps out right away is a little bit different shades of, of the hair color. Uh, these again were made in Cater, in the Cater factory. Um, Luke came with a black gun, like uh, I have here. He also came with a blue black gun. Um, you got to watch out for the helmets. These helmets are legit, but there are some repro ones out there. Sometimes uh, somebody will put in a helmet from the ones that Hasbro made in the 90s. But these are all legit. And I'll pick this one up since he doesn't have a helmet there. And So these just said LFL 83. Um... Let me show you how he looks with the helmet. I, I keep the helmet off on these just because I think it looks cooler without the helmet, but I'll put this on him. I'm trying to do this without, there you go. I'm wondering if I have a repro helmet here. It doesn't fit very, oh, there it goes. It's not repro, just wasn't doing it right. So that's what he looks like with the helmet. Scared myself for a second there. So he's pretty cool with the helmet too, but um, with the helmet on, most people who aren't familiar with these wouldn't know that that's Luke Skywalker under there. But that's uh, 
Luke Skywalker, Stormtrooper, Disguise. That was the only figure that Kenner actually went back to one of the older movies and did a figure of. I personally felt instead of doing this, I would have rather have seen a Darth Vader with a removable helmet, but they didn't. They did this one. So that's a little tutorial about the, the different troopers. Do one more scan here. Kind of messed them up. I had them looking better when I started the video, but I'm a country of origin stamp guy and I like showing those too. So that's the stormtroopers, the, the different troopers that they made for the original Kenner line, ranging from 1977 all the way to 1985. So please go ahead and subscribe to my channel and you can uh, see I have a whole bunch of videos now about the vintage figures. I have some exercise videos too. I'm a personal trainer. So I have some exercise videos on there as well. And um, thank you for watching. Like I said, go ahead, go ahead and hit subscribe and um, binge on some of my other vintage Star Wars figure videos. Thanks for watching, everybody.